crayfish, the clawed crustaceans of freshwater. These guys are a numerous and often overlooked species as a whole. Their importance to the ecosystem is almost unmatched, from them breaking down organic waste and recycling it, to they themselves being food. These guys play a critical role in any body of water they are present in. They also happen to be my favorite animal. Because of that, I thought it was only fair to dedicate this video to the amazing crayfish and explain why you should love crayfish as much as I do. Crayfish are a species closely related to the lobster. Unlike lobsters though, crayfish almost exclusively live in freshwater habitats, with some of them being present in brackish and even saltwater. Over 500 species live on the continent of North America, which is more than half overall. Crayfish are called a lot of different names depending on region. You may hear them referred to as crawfish, crawdads, mudbugs, yabbies, and even ditch bugs. For the sake of consistency, I'll be calling them crayfish throughout the video. Crayfish are commonly found in various streams, rivers, and lakes where they tend to hide from predators under rock, fallen wood, and any other form of cover. As they are primarily nocturnal, preferring to use the cover of darkness to help avoid predation. Crayfish range in a wide variety of different sizes, with the largest of crayfish, the giant crayfish, weighing up to eight pounds. The smallest crayfish in the world, Galiptus, only grows up to one inch in length, for those not in the states, that's 25 millimeters. Point is, there is a lot of diversity in this species. The species of crayfish I'm most familiar to are the rusty crayfish, which are present in the Finger Lakes region. I also have a video where I went diving for them, which I'll put in the description of this video for anybody interested. Crayfish possess an exoskeleton, which gives them structural support. This also has the added bonus to provide protection from predators. Crayfish also have a pair of sharp claws which can be used to deter predators. They also use these claws to fight amongst themselves and to hold on to prey. Crayfish possess one final ability which helps them stay off the menu. If a crayfish feels threatened, they can dart away backwards using their tail. This allows them the chance to find and hide under cover. Crayfish are ravenous eaters, as anyone who has ever kept crayfish will know. Crayfish are omnivores and will eat just about any organic material that they can find. They mostly scavenge for food, which can include any decaying plant matter, algae, dead fish, and any other dead creature that finds its way into the water. Something kind of funny I've learned about crayfish is that they really liked cracked corn. Crayfish are also often predatory themselves, with snails being an especially important part of their diet. They will also eat anything that they can catch, including smaller fish, tadpoles, worms, insect larvae, and any other microinvertebrates. Whatever they find to eat, it plays a critical role in the ecosystem of recycling nutrients. With them eating tons of detritus, detritus, it allows for these otherwise unused energy sources to be used by the crayfish. This in return gets put back into the ecosystem through their waste and really just keeps everything healthy. They are constantly aiding in the decomposition process. This is why they are so good for a body of water. However, there is one more reason as to why they are so important in an ecosystem. If there's one thing that most people know about crayfish is that fish love to eat them. Smallmouth bass in particular seem to have an extremely fond taste for them. Other predatory fish like rock bass, largemouth bass, northern pike, chain pickerel, and pretty much everything else will also gladly take them. This is because crayfish are packed with an extreme amount of protein. Because of this, 
crayfish are an essential part in these fish's diet. More often than not, the big fish that you see being caught are eating a plethora of crayfish to get and stay that big. Fish aren't the only ones to eat crayfish, as they have many other predators, including, but not limited to, otters, minks, great blue herrings, raccoons, and other fisher birds. These guys not only play a critical role in recycling nutrients, but also with providing high protein meals to other creatures. In short, crayfish are a great little animal, and they overall are super helpful. Now I know some of them like the signal crayfish can cause issues to areas where they are introduced, but as a whole, these guys play an important and often unceremonious job for the world as a whole. So that was my short look at crayfish and why I love them so much. Seriously, if there was a crayfish deity, I'd probably be worshiping it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video all about crayfish. Be sure to show some support if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Take care.